Hello, and welcome to the Mobile User Acquisition Show, a podcast to help you unlock tremendous growth for your app. My name is Shaman Rao. I'm the CEO of the boutique growth marketing firm, Rocketship HQ, and host of the podcast, Mobile User Acquisition Show. In each episode, we feature experts in the field of mobile growth and discuss strategies, tips, and pointers from the leading edge of mobile growth. Now, by the end of each episode, you will have gained actionable tactical insights that will help you make more informed decisions in your own work around growth. The Mobile User Acquisition Show is produced by Meryl Vincent, Content Marketing Manager at Rocketship. It's clear that Black Friday is a huge opportunity for e-commerce, but what does it mean for gaming? And what should you do about it if you work in gaming, on marketing, monetization, or live ops? I answer this question in today's episode because while Black Friday can be a huge opportunity, it's also a massively competitive time of the year because inventory is so much more expensive and everyone's fighting for this ad inventory. This post is thanks to our friends and partners, Sensor Tower, who have provided all of the data that I've had a chance to dig into for you today. First of all, there is not a huge jump in installed volumes in gaming. I'm now on the Sensor Tower dashboard with the estimates of downloads for all games in US for last year's period, October and November, that includes Black Friday. First of all, there is barely an increase in the number of downloads or installs. And if you look at the revenue, there is a 30 to 40% increase compared to the previous weekend. Right, so there's about 45 million to 63. That's close to a 35-ish percent increase. So that's huge, right? Compared to the increase in downloads. To put this in perspective, downloads barely go up, revenues go up massively. So there is not a massive increase in the number of users that discover new games, but there is a huge increase in the number of users that make purchases in games that they're already playing. Now, how does this change by subcategories of games or genres of games? Downloads, they barely go up. They do go up slightly on iOS by genre. And you can see all key genres here, casual simulation, action puzzle. Pretty much there is a slight increase. And this is Apple, Google Play is mostly flat. And Apple, there is a slight increase. And this is looking at the downloads by subgenres of gaming. Again, if we look at revenue, there's a very slight increase compared to the previous weekends on Google Play. Apple, there's a much bigger spike in revenues, right? So again, if you're on iOS, the opportunity is much, much bigger, very likely because these are folks with much larger disposable income on iOS as compared to Android. And what about Updow? Across key subgenres, iOS, there is an increase in Updow. Google Play, which is Android, also has an increase in Updow compared to previous weekends. But again, you can see the highest Updow subgenres of gaming. Casino and RPG lead the pack. If you look at overall, there is an increase in Updow as well. What does all this mean for your strategy as a marketer around Black Friday? Based on this data and based on our own experience, new users do not have any particularly increased propensity to download more or newer games around Black Friday, but they do want to spend more and buy more in the games that they're already playing. Users want to spend, not discover. And if you're managing UA, you're also confronted with massively more expensive advertising inventory across channels. Your cost of acquiring new users can be up to twice as much as even a week before Black Friday, depending on your genres. You really do not want to be going head to head against, say, Walmart. So given all of this, it may not be worth going big on your user acquisition unless you have something that can capitalize on the moment and the user's readiness and willingness to spend. If you don't have anything special, that's perfectly fine. 
or if you're a small to mid-sized game developer, it's best to wait for the CPM spike and the inflated inventory to pass. But what you do want to do is double down on monetizing the players that you already do have. Players want to spend, they want deals, they want new and interesting deals in the games that they're already playing. So what you want to double down on is your live ops, not your user acquisition. And you make the live ops much more special than your usual bi-weekly cadence. Make this something big and special rather than live ops as usual. Do this and maybe this will be the week that can make your annual margins pop. This is something that retail and e-com folks intuitively get. And given the size of the opportunity for gaming, this focus on live ops and monetization could very well unlock massive growth for you too. Thank you for listening to the Mobile User Acquisition Show. If any of this was helpful or instructive, I would love for you to leave us a review or rating on iTunes, Stitcher, Overcast, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast fix. This podcast takes a ton of time, effort, and love to produce, and I deeply value every review and every piece of feedback that you share.